Welcome to my room. We are off on a little trip and tomorrow is going to be a travel day, so I'm packing today. And I thought, well, if I'm going to be traveling for the whole day, I may as well bring you guys with me and make a relaxed travel video, which I don't really do, so it's something a little new. But before we get going, before I get packing, I thought I'd share with you what I take on my trip. It's going to be a long trip, two months, and well, it's all got to go into a small backpack. So let me show you what I've got. I've laid it all out on the bed. It looks like an absolute mess, <laughs> but there's method to my madness. Let me assure you of that. So how do I pack? Well, let's start with the clothes because obviously I film as well. So I've got all of my equipment here, I'm trying to reduce that down as much as possible too. But t-shirts, I have one, two, three, four, five, six t-shirts. And that will allow me, I tend to go for five days worth of clothes with one extra as I can wash on that day. And that kind of, that kind of helps. Tip on the t-shirts, when I first started going to Asia, I was taking cotton t-shirts and my God, with the humidity and the heat, they get sweaty, get big sweat patches. So now I have this like sporty material t-shirts from Uniqlo and trust me, they make such a difference. One pair of shorts. That will do me. If I need another, I can buy them out there. And another pair of jeans. I haven't actually decided if I want black jeans or denim jeans, but I just wanted to show you. A shirt for if I need to smarten up a little bit. And then I've got uh, two like sports type shirts. One, I like to go with a football shirt from the country that I'm going to because it, I don't know, locals love it. They love seeing it. And I always get comments on this one because it's a classic old style Thai football shirt. And if I want to do exercise, I can, I can use that. Or if I want to, I don't know, go somewhere very local, I can wear that and it gets smiles. So that's a good tip as well. And then I have just a normal sports shirt for if I want to go running or do some exercise. And of course, with that, some sports shorts. Have one jumper, multi-purpose. It's a hoodie. So it's like, it can be open or it can be shut, it's got a hood on as well. So if it gets cold in the evening, or at any point I go to the mountains, I can put that on and then a like a neck scarf, a buff as well. I was gonna call it a snood, but <laughs> I think that's out of fashion. Let's go with a buff. Because I found if you want to pack light, I can't take everything. So it's all about layering up. So I can wear a t-shirt, I can wear a jumper, and I can wear the, the buff as well. And if I really want to, if I'm going to a colder place, I can take a thermal layer as well to layer up. But for Southeast Asia, probably not gonna need it, even in the mountains, I've got to be honest. And then with that, obviously a belt. And then I'll be staying somewhere with a pool, or maybe if I go to the sea, I've got a pair of swimming shorts. And then because I'm so pale, I have a, like a protective base layer as well for if I'm swimming or I go scuba diving. Where I do top up a bit more are underwear. I won't show you all my underwear, but I have nine of these. So a few extras, you can never have too many. And same again with socks. Like they don't take as much space. So you may as well top up a little bit on those just in case Like you can just buy a cheap t-shirt if you really need to. But underwear, you kind of, you know, you want a fresh pair of underwear, let's say that. And where else? Okay. It's gonna be rainy season, so uh, I have a packable jacket and a poncho for if I'm on the mo motorcycle because I'm going to get a little scooter to take me around. Uh, those are worth having too. But of course, you can buy those out there. I mean, you can buy everything out there, of course. Um, and then for that, for the motorcycle, I have the riding gloves just to, you know, keep my hands protected. Um, I have them, so why not? And then you never really know with the accommodation on how things work. So I've got a good eye mask. And again, for the plane, this, you know, this can just fold down, but it's a proper blackout one. Super good, really like this one, super comfortable. Uh, the brand is this, and I just got it on Amazon, to be honest, it wasn't that expensive, about 20 quid, but it does definitely help. Also for the plane, a blow up, compressible neck, pillow so that's good because you don't want one where you're tagging it on the end of the bag and carrying it around that one is a really good one again blow up you can let it down and get it just right for how you're feeling that day definitely recommend that one again from Amazon and then for the plane of course 
some melatonin to try and sleep and jump or get out of jet lag. Sunglasses and sunglasses case, of course. Trainers, new trainers. Um, the old ones are a little worn, <laughs> I must admit. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the clothing. As you can see, fairly light. Really don't carry that much at all. I'll probably wear something tomorrow. And where I'm going for the first week, I should really take something a bit smarter, but I just don't have the space. Um, so we're gonna have to make do with that. But uh, yeah, that's kind of my, my basics. And as I say, if I need anything else, I'll get it out there. So let's move on to the other things and electric. Two passports, you can never have enough, right? International driving license, very, very important, especially in Asia where the police will stop you. They won't ask for your actual driving license. They'll ask for your international driving license. And if you don't have it, they will fine you. So definitely make sure you have that. Uh, and then all of my electrics, power bank, uh, SSD for storage, a little light, which I found is, uh, has come very useful for when I'm filming in darker places. Uh, GoPro, different tripods. Oh, no, I have too many tripods. Charging things for the GoPro, little accessories for the GoPro. If I'm doing a live stream, I use the gimbal, so that's coming with me. I have a manual microphone in case the uh, this microphone doesn't work, and this is the DJA Mic 2. That's what I'm using now, obviously. I have the main camera, a Canon R10, and a lens that goes with that, just a vlogging lens, 10 to 18 millimeters. Batteries for that. More cables will go in here, but all the charging cables, manual headphones, but I do have AirPod Pro 2. Noise cancellation, very important. And they don't really fit in my ears, so I have these little things which slide onto them to stop them falling out. Dice for a little bit of fun. If I can't decide to do something or in a video, I can use the dice to decide on something. And then this little statue of Buddha. And just to, I like to take it with me just to, I don't know, remind myself to calm or just be grateful. And it comes with me everywhere. So it always goes in my bag. So that's definitely coming with me. A couple of hard cases just to protect, like the camera will go in there and some of the camera gear, that's good for when I'm out filming. And then toiletries. I won't show the toiletries, but obviously in here tomorrow we'll go. Toothbrush, some medication, painkillers, anti-diarrhea stuff, maybe some dehyd er, dehydration stuff, rehydration stuff, electric shaver, there'll be a manual razor too, and then some smelly things too. So everything, well, all of the clothes are going to go in there and then as much of the equipment that I can get in as well. And it all needs to go in this. My backpack, 40 liters, Osprey, Fairpoint. Love it, very good. Cannot complain at that at all. Then I have a little day pack to go with it, which I might take you know, on the plane as hand luggage. But this is everything, I've laid it all out and it will go in that backpack. I promise you, it looks like a lot of stuff, but it will all go in that backpack with the help of a packing cube. I know that might be boring for some of you, but sometimes, well, I always think, it's nice to see what people take, especially for filming equipment too. Oh, and of course, do not forget your uh, adapters. This is an adapter for the electric razor, but yeah, adapters for over there. And then of course, my laptop will come with me, but I'm just uploading some content. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna try and squeeze it all into that. And then tomorrow, well, we've got quite a long day, I must be honest. So I'll bring you with me, get to my final destination, and then I'll tell you what's coming up. So it's gonna be a good little mini series. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow when I'm packed and when I'm heading, heading to the airport. See you then. Uh, good morning, early morning. Didn't sleep that well, never sleep that well before I'm traveling, if I'm honest. I had to take melatonin. It's still dark outside, just, just getting light. And we need to get to the airport, the bag, is packed. Everything got in there, if you can believe it. I told you, packing cubes are the way forward. So, I'm gonna take a taxi to the airport and I'll see you guys there. Ah, oh, made it. Cristiano Ronaldo Airport. Ever heard of that guy? No, me neither. Anyway, I think it's the first time I've been here where it's not blowing absolute gale. Should go and find out where we're going. Well, I know where we're going. 
we're going to uh, Porto. First stop, first of two flights today. Uh, it looks like it's going to be this one. And with, with Ryanair, so that would make sense. Porto. Yeah. Best get in the queue, hadn't I? <laughs> Always the same here. All right, made it through security. And I won't show you the airport. It will be a bit boring, but what I do want to show you is this bit unique here. Smoking area, although let's call it viewing gallery. Smoking area is not quite so nice, is it? But here, you can get outside. How cool is that? You can see right over onto the runway. You can see the planes coming in, taking off. But we found the wind, and that's a problem because the planes are not landing. And I have a very, very tight connection in Porto, and it's two separate flights, so they're not going to track me through. So that is going to be a problem. So already a plane has tried to land, and it got right to the last bit, got right to here, and then it diverted or went around. So not ideal. Starting to panic a little bit because the connection is tight to the next place and then I need to be in the next place for the thing that I'm doing. I cannot miss it. It will not wait for me. So, a little bit of drama to this video. Am I going to make it? <laughs> uh, yeah, the planes are queuing up. I can't see them like, on the radar. They're all queuing up and circling around. So, uh, yeah. Let's see how this is going to turn out. But. Pretty cool that you can come outside, isn't it? Nice to have fresh air. All the smokers come out here, of course. But yeah, nice to come out. How many other airports in the world allow you to do this? I can't think of any. Can you? Let me know in the comments if you can. Pretty unique, I'd say. But yeah, the planes would line up here so you get a good view. Sadly not. <laughs> this is boarding, which is interesting because uh, it's not even a flight landed at the airport. They're still struggling. I'm going to avoid that. I'm going to wait. I'm going to try and show you one coming in, if it comes in. But yes, when you're anxious to fly, not anxious, I'm not nervous from flying, but just flying, do traveling gives me anxiety. When, you're, when you get anxiety from flying, this delays and worry added onto it is not ideal. <sighs> All right, quick update. Still here, all the flights, all of the flights have been diverted and now I'm mega panicking for the cruise, big time. You can see this place is busy. I mean, inside is busy now. Not one flight has landed, not one flight has gone. And I'm panicking that I'm gonna miss, oh, I've told you what I'm doing. And I'm panicking I'm going to miss it. But it's funny, isn't it? In an airport in Madeira, my old housemate is here. Thank God. There you go payback for filming me as she came. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's a wait and see kind of thing. Let's see if the wind dies down. Three hours later, still delayed, but planes have started to land. Typical, my housemate is on this one. Hers landed first time, and another one over here, which diverted to Porto Santo, an island nearby, is also about to land. Mine is on its way. It went back to Porto, so I have to wait an hour and 40 minutes to know if it's going to blimming land. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Try and cr crouch down out of the wind for you guys. So, yeah, I still don't know if I'm going to make it. Obviously, it has to land. And I don't know if I'm going to get to Barcelona today, so I might have to stay over in Porto and then fly on a new flight to Barcelona tomorrow. This is why living on an island is so bloody complicated. In my pros and cons of living in Madeira, I gave this as a reason, but I've never really experienced it. Now I've got it. <laughs> anyway. There's hope, there's hope if these are here. But to be honest, I am so grateful that you can come outside. Could you imagine being stuck inside? This airport is so, so busy. Could you imagine being stuck inside? At least I can be out in the air and the wind, if you can hear me. I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. Here it comes. I don't know if you can see it yet, but it's just coming in. Is it going to land? Come on. The wind has died down a little bit. Should get in. I'd be very disappointed if it didn't. Yes. Yes. Come on. That's where the other one got to and then it went off. And 
and it's down. Yes! We are going to Porto. Whew, thank God for that. I did doubt it for a long time. Let's go. Oh man, my heart. I was worried. I was nervous I wasn't gonna make it. I'm so glad it's landed. Because the forecast, the forecast showed bad weather all week actually. And I was thinking, oh my God, if I'm not gonna get over today, when am I gonna get over? I'm gonna miss everything. And I fly to Asia from Rome. So I'm thinking, oh, everything is messed up. But have a little faith, have a little optimism, I guess. Everything will be all right in the end. <sighs> Let's get on the plane. So yeah, leaving Madeira, and I thought it was going to be plain sailing from here on in, but I missed the connection to Barcelona, I struggled to get on the next flight, got the last seat, so it was all a bit of a panic and I didn't actually turn the camera back on. But I can still tell you what's coming up, my secret travel plans revealed, I am going on a week-long cruise on the newest cruise ship from Princess Cruises, leaving Barcelona and going around the Mediterranean to Rome, we're going to have an incredible experience and get to know this brand new ship. I can't wait. My second ever cruise. So subscribe, turn notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next video from Barcelona.